What's up everyone? So I finally picked up a working Samsung hard drive and I'm going to be setting it up on the AMD system build. This massive beast is a full 6.4 gigabytes. Have everything laid out. Uh, let's get started setting it up. going through post I'm using a Windows 98 second edition CD-ROM and here I'm using FDisk to set up partition on the hard drive of course we want to use the maximum available another reboot now before I can set up Windows I have to format the drive Scan disk is complete, that's good. Finally, I get to start installing Windows 98 Second Edition. Another reboot. There are a lot of reboots in a Windows 98 installation. That was quick. Well, I wish the machine was this fast as it looks here. I have actually cut out sections of video and I'm running it at 600% faster than normal speed. Going through checking my uh, BIOS settings. I had a few things that I needed to make some adjustments on. We've got the VF4 and 1 driver pack getting that installed and we got another reboot Well, I'm excited to see this build come to life. The mouse is not being recognized, but I think it's the adapter I'm using, so I need to either find a serial mouse or get a USB card. I think a USB card will be the better long-term solution because that should enable me to use some older USB thumb drives, which will make getting files and programs onto the system a lot easier. The ghosting in the video card is bad, but at least I can work on the system and as soon as I can source another TNT2 32 megabyte card for cheap or even better free, uh, then I can get rid of this card. The NVIDIA drivers are either not working or are conflicting with the VIA 4-in-1 drivers, and I'm leaning towards it being a conflict with the 4-in-1 set. I'm going to be testing some different driver installs just to verify. The parts are, that I'm still needing, uh, aside from what I've already mentioned, are an AT form factor mini tower case, the TX 3.5 inch floppy drive, the Mitsumi CR2801, which is proving very difficult to find, the Creative 3D Blaster Riva TNT2 32 megabyte AGP video card, and a Creative DSi V90 modem. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on if I'm even going to put the modem in it um, just because there's really no use for it other than having a complete build. So that one's kind of on my, yes, it'd be nice to have for nostalgia's sake, but not necessarily needed to complete the system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. And until next time, be good to each other. Goodbye.